Okay, um, <clears throat> how we want to start this off? Well, of course, uh, by this time, you should know that I am your soul brother number one, and that is Angel Snub Nub 7. Uh, how do we begin this subject? Well, first of all, I can say this. We are born, we are birthed into an unnatural way of life. And this unnatural life causes, of course, unnatural behavior. You will see this in uh, wildlife. You will see this, of course, in domesticated animals. You will see this, of course, in those of whom we call the human being. And an unnatural life means that we suffer mental disorder. It means that our thinking process, our ability to think, our ability to respond and to react is not appropriate. It is not uh, in a manner which is in the best interest of us as an individual or as a society, not only in this nation, but around this planet, the human being suffers the same because we are living in an unnatural state. And we concentrate more on our physical body than the uh, health of our brain which is more important to us than anything, especially as a human being, if we wish to function. So all over this earth, you will find people in mental facilities, and we laugh. There are those who laugh at me because I was unjustly incarcerated. They don't like what I have to say or whatever, and they laugh at me. You was in the crazy house. Ha, 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 ha. The whole planet is a crazy house. Your house is a crazy house. When you step out your door, it's the crazy house. When you go to school, it's the crazy house. When you go down to the liquor store, it's the crazy house. The whole planet is filled with insane people because all of us, all of you, are living in some way, manner, shape, or form an unnatural life. And it has brought us problems. And since we don't think appropriately and we are living an unnatural life, of course it will affect how we interact with one another. Of course it will affect male-female relationships. So you can have a woman and you can be the greatest man in the world the most kindness, you are a provider, you do all the things that is expected to you, uh, ex uh, expected of you. But if you deal with the woman in this environment of sickness, she has experienced rape. She has been abused by other men and exploited. By the time she shows up at your door, although all of us in some manner or form are crazy, we are insane. It is even worse when we suffer physical and mental abuse. And so she knows that you are kind, but she has been made sick and she has not been made to heal from that experience. So that rape, that physical and verbal abuse or whatever she went through, she will take it out on you. And you will, you don't know how to handle it. And you will tell other people, man, that, 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 she was crazy. She was, but there was a reason for it. And maybe perhaps she should have told you. We don't tell people about our mental disorders. We always try to put on a front to show the best that we have. So maybe you wasn't even interested in her mental health anyway. You was looking at her 
big breasts and her nice looking legs and her fat behind and whatever. And you, it was always there. You weren't paying attention because your mind was elsewhere. And many times, those of whom suffer these uh, ailments, this out of the ordinary ailments, because like again, we live in it. And a, a society and an environment of mental sickness, regardless, no matter where you go on this planet, you will probably see this also among primitive people. So, those who suffer under this abuse, exploitation, many of them will go from victim to predator themselves. So a child who was molested by a pedophile, many of them turn into pedophiles themselves. A woman who is abused or been raped, she becomes an aggressor. And she, is, she becomes an abuser. And in some instances, she may turn into a pedophile and rape a child. This is the sickness, this is the madness that we have been born into. And I don't know why people believe that for some reason the world is supposed to be holy and righteous when it has never in our lifetime and generations before, it has never been righteous. This is the purpose for holy books like the Bible and Quran. Because if the human being was holy and righteous, why would you need a Bible and a Quran? Clearly, as it says in, in from uh, the Muslim point of view, surely man is in loss. Surely man has gone off the right path. One of uh, the problems that I had, personal problems that I had in my brief marriage, y'all remember I was married briefly for a few seconds. <clears throat> One of the problems that I had was that the uh, sister that I had, uh, <laughs> it's hard to talk about. <laughs> the sister, I, I, the sister that I had married <laughs> was a single mother. Not only a single mother, but raising grandchildren and so forth. Personally, I don't believe that I would ever date a single mother. It has, it's not nothing to, to be prejudiced or biased, but something has to be understood. And the problem with the single mother, not this black woman bashing garbage that these guys talk about, it's about individuals because everybody is not the same. Except my former wife, my ex-wife, was a perfect example of this, this mentality, this mindset. Many single mothers have been playing both parents, the father and the mother role for so long that when a, 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 a man comes into their life where now you don't have a need to be mother and father. You have Father has come to fill that void. But many of these sisters, and I'm pretty sure among other women too, who have been, who are single mothers for a long period of time, they see you as a male as their competition. All that love stuff is out the window. You become competition. Then the relationship begins to run into problems. Because now you're not a man, the man in the house. You become one of the children. Because she wants to run you and the children and everything. And that's a that's a no-no. As you know, I advocate women's rights. 
I don't uh, advocate to hinder the progress of any human being to do anything they want to in life. Who am I to tell you what you can and cannot do, especially because it's based upon because you can't do it because you have a vagina or you can't do this because you got a penis. A job does not have a gender. Whoever can do the task, that's what is important, not because you have a gender. But there must be balance in these things. Because when it's all said and done, you are male and you are female. And we have our roles in life. But there must be balance. And there are certain lines we cannot cross, even though we want people to feel equal and we want them to experience justice. But at the same time, we don't want to go out of balance with nature. And when we do, then you have like my former wife, you begin to have women who act like men. Even to the point, some sisters, some women begin to dress like men. Their voice, just like I heard some of these people, you black women bashers, and you know, truth is true. Some of them, their voice even becomes more deep. And they wear men clothes and things of this nature. But again, what do you expect? from a society that is unnatural, like we were speaking of in the very beginning of this video. An unnatural society, an unnatural environment is, is going to cause unnatural behaviors. So in my marriage, my wife wants to control the whole household. And not only is she wanting the man role, but she wants to become a slave owner. So I become a slave and every other child in the house become a slave. And you must like everything she likes. Listen to the music she likes. Like the food she likes. Do everything that she likes. Nobody else has an opinion. Nobody else. Whatever you desire don't mean nothing. That's how it is when you are a slave owner. <laughs> it's all about you. Now, when you look at homosexual behavior, it's, it's an unnatural behavior. I'm sorry. I, I know it may upset some of you. It's an unnatural behavior, point blank. I don't care what some of these scientists or whatever they're supposed to say. You don't find this in nature at all. But what you see is one lesbian woman playing the male role one lesbian woman playing the female role. I remember I had a friend and she was a lesbian and I used to play with her all the time and whatever. And I think it was getting to the point where she was beginning to like me. How can you like me when you say that you're gay? You're a lesbian. And her lover <laughs> want to step up to me like she's going to whoop, whoop me up or something. I don't think you want to do that, uh, lady. I, you, you, you might dress like a man or whatever. But you, you're not a, a dude, so I would not advise that. I don't try to play the tough role. But see, what happens is a lesbian can talk all she wants to. I'm a lesbian. I like women. But if you put her in the right environment around the right man, that right man will bring her back to her nature because she's a woman. And women like men. That's the bottom line. And I don't care how pro-black you are, soul brother. Put you in the right environment. And there's nothing but Caucasian pink women around. One of them, sooner or later, will get you unless you got a very strong discipline. Because women are attracted to men. Men are attracted to women. Rich or poor. That's why when I say, if I met my soul sister, Terry Ellis of, of Invogue, She's a woman. I don't care if she's rich and a celebrity, all that. It don't make no difference about that. She's a human being. She's a woman. Women are attracted to men. Men are attracted to women. That's just the bottom line. Makes no difference about that. So we're living in an environment that's unnatural when you see all these different things that is going on.
But the sad thing about it, I really don't think that we want to change nothing. That's, that's the killer. Do you want a change? I know I do. Jot down your comments. Let's, let's talk about it.